Hey guys, it's uh, four days left till Christmas here and it's really beautiful um, in New York City so I decided to go for a run outside which is pretty awesome because it's almost Christmas and it's warm. So I figured that I would do a yoga for runners kind of routine today. So let's do it. This is where I end my run in Astoria. So I figured why not? Let's do it here. All right, let's get started. So we're just gonna start down dog here. So just come into your hands and your feet. Go ahead and bend one knee, bend the other knee. Just shake your hips a little side to side here. And we'll tuck our chin in towards our chest. Start to round high into your plank pose. Once you're there, just settle in for a moment. So rock a little side to side. Maybe you bend one knee, bend the other knee here. Just everything easy. And use a huge inhale to lift your hips all the way back to your down dog. So a few more times just like that. Inhale, rounding you forward, or exhale, rounding you forward to your plank. And inhale, lifting you all the way back up. Twice more. Exhale, rounding you forward here. And inhale, lifting you all the way back up. Last time here to round forward. Once you're in your plank pose, just ease your right knee down to the ground. Press into your left palm. Lift your right arm up. Just take a twist. You can even lean back in the chest here. And switch in hand. Just releasing this right hand down to the ground. Spin your back heel down and lift your left arm up. Just open it up. If you want to look towards the ceiling or the sky, you can. And release in both hands down here. Go ahead and release both knees down to the ground. Use an inhale to open up your chest, looking forward. And as you exhale, just round your spine, looking towards your navel here. Tuck your back toes, big inhale to lift your hips all the way back to your down dog. So same thing on the other side, just releasing your left knee down to the ground. This time, press into your right palm, lift your left arm up, just twist and open. And exhale to release hands. Left hand finds the ground, back heel spins down, lift your right arm up. If you want to look up, you can. And release in both hands down here. Release both knees down to the ground. Use an inhale to open up your chest forward. And an exhale to round your spine. Look towards your navel. Tuck your back toes. Big inhale to lift all the way back to your down dog. Junior down dog. Inhale your right leg up behind you. Bend your knee. Open up your hip. Maybe you roll around in the ankle bits. And round your knee and toward your nose. Step your foot in between your hands for a low lunge. During your low lunge, just ease your back knee down to the ground. Press into your fingertips. Open up your chest forward. And as you exhale, plant your palms. Tuck your back toes. Big and how to lift your hips and lengthen up your legs. And just melt over your front thigh. So a few more times just like that. Start to roll forward here. Release your back knee down to the ground. Inhale to open your chest forward. And exhale to lift your hips all the way up and fold over your thigh. Twice more. Coming forward here. Release your knee. Inhale. Open up your chest. And exhale to fold over this leg. Lift your hips. Last one. Inhale. Opening up your chest. Looking forward. Release that knee. And exhale to lift your hips all the way back. And just melt over your thigh. Go ahead and press into your left palm. Lift your right arm up. Just twist your triangle. Just lean in back here. Relax your knees. They don't have to be straight. And release your right hand down to the ground. Spin your back heel down. Open to your regular triangle. Just lifting this left arm up. Reaching towards the ceiling. And exhale to release both hands down. And just fold over this leg. Get a nice hamstring string stretch. If you want to bend this knee a little bit, that might feel nice too. Or you can always rock a little side to side. Go ahead and turn your back toes forward a little bit here. Release your back knee down to the ground and sink your hips back to your runner's lunge. Surprise, that's in here. <laughs> and press into your fingertips, just looking forward. And as you exhale, just fold over your legs. You can crawl your fingertips a little bit forward if that's gonna feel nice. Maybe you sway to side to side here. If you wanna take a little twist, just take this left hand on the outside of the right foot here and just look over to the other side. It just might change the stretch a bit. Starting to release out of this. Coming back to your low lunge, crawling your fingertips forward, rebend your front knee, pick up your back knee, and start to crawl your hands towards your left foot here. Turn your left foot towards me, flex your right foot, and bend the left knee. So press into your palms, take a lot of ease off of your knee here. You don't want to feel any weight or any tension there. You can rock side to side, just opening up this hamstring a little bit. And we'll retrace those steps, just starting to crawl your fingertips back forward here, coming back to your low lunge, turning your toes forward. During your low lunge, just press into your palms, step your right foot back to meet your left or your down dog. Rock a little side to side, just easy in your breath. And we're going to do that whole thing on the other side. So inhale your left leg up behind you. You can bend the knee, open up the hip, maybe you roll around in the ankle bit. And round that knee in towards your nose, step your foot in between your hands, low lunge. Ease your back knee down to the ground. Use an inhale to open up your chest. Press into your fingertips, looking forward. 
And as you exhale, tuck your back toes big. And how to lift your hips all the way up, lengthen up your legs, and just fold over a few more times. Starting to come back forward, release your knee. And how to open up your chest. Exhale to lift your hips and fold over your legs twice more. And how to open up your chest. Look forward here. And exhale to lift your hips, fold over. Last one. And how to open up your chest. Look forward. And exhale to fold over. This time, just taking a moment to completely relax. You can rock those hips side to side, easy in your knees. And pressing into your right palm, lift your left arm up. Just twist open your triangle. Lean in back here. And releasing that left hand down to the ground. Spin your back heel down, open to your regular triangle. Just take enough space to reach out through your fingertips, open up. And exhale to release both hands down and just melt over this thigh again. Breathe into every area in your body here. And go ahead and turn your back toes forward. Release your back knee down to the ground. Sink your hips back to meet your heels for that runner's lunge. Press into your fingertips. Look forward. Open. And as you exhale, just start to crawl your fingertips forward as far as you want to go. Just relax your head and neck. If you want to take that twist, just taking this right hand on the outside of the foot. Maybe you look over to the side. Go ahead, release out of this. Start to crawl your fingertips forward, back for your low lunge. Pick up your back knee, and we'll crawl our toes around the face or around to that right foot towards the back of the room. Bend this right knee, flex your left foot, and just open up here. Make sure that you put a lot of weight into your hands. You can rock side to side, and starting to crawl your fingertips back forward, coming back to your low lunge. Turn your toes forward, just sinking your hips a bit, and press into your palms. Step your left foot back to meet your right for your down dog. Junior down dog, just soften your knees a whole lot. Start to take a walk, feet up to meet the hands. Just a little stroll to the front of the mat. Once you're up there, just fold up your legs. So bend your knees a whole lot. Go ahead and grab opposite elbows. See if you can allow your uh, torso just to relax over your thighs. Relax your head and neck. Maybe rock a little side to side. And then go ahead, release your hands down. Step back to your plank pose here. During your plank pose, just ease your knees down to the ground. Open up your chest forward. So rock a little side to side. If you want to start to sink your hips a little bit far towards the ground, just soften your elbows a whole lot. You can. Maybe you come so far down that you come all the way onto your belly or your chest and just move around here. Just see what feels best on you. Go ahead and press into your palms. Sink your hips back to meet your heels. Just come into your child's pose here. Just allowing your hips to hang out with your heels for a moment. Come rock side to side and just breathe into your body. Go ahead to roll up to sit here and you're all finished. So just a little yoga runners routine for you here. Let me crawl forward. <laughs> so we got three days coming up tomorrow. I hope um, you're having fun with these. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. Um, maybe I'll do some stuff outside tomorrow because I think it's supposed to be nice. See what happens. <laughs> all right, see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. <laughs>